So today I'm talking about a P0348 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. And so what is a P0348 code? Well, it's a camshaft position sensor A circuit high bank two. And so what does this mean? Well, basically that's what's called a camshaft position sensor that's just tracking the camshaft as it spins. And it's reporting this information back to the computer, which uses the information for timing of the engine. But when you get this P0348 code, the computer's seeing a problem with this sensor. And so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And when you have a V6 or V8 engine, there's going to be two banks on the engine. Bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. And the opposite of that is going to be bank two. So if you Google your engine and like cylinder location or something like that, and you locate the number one cylinder on that engine, since there can't be differences, then that side of the engine is going to be bank one. And the opposite of that is going to be bank two. And an engine can have one cam on each bank of the engine or it could have two cams on each bank of the engine. If you have an engine that is dual overhead cams, then the A camshaft is gonna be the intake camshaft and B would be the exhaust camshaft. So basically with this P0348 code, find bank two side of the engine and the camshaft position sensor on the intake side is gonna be the A camshaft position sensor. You know, one thing to note about these camshaft position sensors is that if they are swapped out, some vehicles' computers need what's called a relearn procedure. This can really vary. It's going to depend on the vehicle, the manufacturer, the year made, things like this. Sometimes you can swap out that camshaft position sensor and the engine will just start up and run. But then other times you swap it out and the engine won't start. Or if it does start, it'll run really badly or something like that. And quite often that's because that vehicle's computer needs what's called a relearn procedure. There's different ways to go about doing this. If you have a really good OBD2 scan tool, some of those have that option inside there where they could command their computer to do a relearn. These are the more expensive scan tools, but if you have a really good scan tool, it might have that option. Sometimes you could just drive the vehicle around and the computer automatically relearn. And this is because sometimes there's a series of driving steps that need to be done and the computer will do an automatic relearn. So if you do go to swap out that camshaft position sensor and the vehicle won't start or it does start and it just runs badly, it's a good idea to do a little bit of research on that vehicle and check to see if it does have what's called a camshaft position sensor relearn. And so what are some possible causes of a P0348 code? Well, the main thing that's going to cause this is either that camshaft position sensor has gone bad and needs to be replaced or the wiring going to it. And so there's some different ways to go about testing these sensors. And there can be different types of sensors. There could be two wire sensors or three wire sensors. These three wire sensors are very common. And what's going on with these is that there's going to be voltage going to it, usually five volts. There's going to be a signal wire that's going back to the computer. And then there's going to be a ground wire. When these are two wire sensors, the ground's going to be on the case. There's going to be notches on the camshaft. And every single time one of these notches is directly in front of that camshaft position sensor, it's going to send a signal back to the computer. And the computer is going to be able to count this and do its calculations and know the timing of the engine this way. And so if you have a multimeter, you can go and check when the key's in the on position, you should be getting power going to it. Be sure you got a good ground and that that signal wire going back to the computer, that that's good. I made a dedicated video on how you can use a multimeter to check the wiring going to these sensors, along with testing the sensor itself to check to see if it's gone bad. I'll put a link in the description box below if you want to check that out. It's also a good idea to go check for any blowing fuses, especially if the vehicle won't start up at all. If the vehicle starts up and it runs badly, then very likely it's not a bad fuse. But if the engine won't start at all, definitely go check for any blowing fuses because that can cause problems. But the most common cause of a P0348 code is going to be either that camshaft position sensor has gone bad or the wiring going to it. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0348 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.